God bless you for making time to feed on the Word of God from this platform. I pray you'll be blessed by the Word of God today. Let's get into the Word from Pastor Kwame. Paul writes and said, Rejoice. And again, I say, Rejoice. Find something to be joyful about. Find something to celebrate about. Find something to focus on. Amen. I greet you on this Friday. We thank God it's Friday. Amen. Child of God, I want you to know that the Lord is able to keep you from falling. The Lord is able to preserve you. The Lord is able to um, hold your hands through every situation. Amen. And I have a good word for somebody on today. Uh, Let's run to our assignment as we consider the passion of Christ and begin to glean from the very important subjects and topics that comes out of it and so let's take a trip to the book of matthew the chapter number 27 the division 19 matthew 27 19 the bible says and while he was sitting on the judgment seat his wife sent to him saying have nothing to do with that righteous man for last night i suffered greatly in a dream because of him matthew 27 19 this is Pilate's wife talking to Pilate. It says now, and while Pilate was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent to him saying, have nothing to do with that innocent, righteous man, actually. Other translation says innocent man. It says, for last night, I suffered greatly in a dream because of him. I want to teach today a little deeper is called the law of righteousness i want to teach on the law of righteousness and i believe it's beneficial because some of us have to understand that at the end of it all the righteous will be paid in full for the pain they've gone through all right now let me begin to lay the 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 the, the, the subject this way now we step back and we begin to ask ourselves many years ago many many years ago over 2000 years ago in his own wisdom even before the foundations of the earth the bible says that the son of man was slain before the foundations of the earth that means that the death of jesus christ is the reason for creation Uh, Because if he was slain before the foundation, that means that he was, creation was made to manifest his crucifixion. Redemption was part of God's plan before even the earth began. And so when we come to the fulfillment of the prophecy, you will think that everybody that will help the fulfillment of the prophecy will be applauded. Because chicken cannot kill Jesus. It would take a, a person with a crazy life like Judas. It would take a person with as Caiaphas. It would take a, a people like Israel to be crazy. It would take the whole devil himself to be able to fulfill the great commission of the death, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so if you look at history, this is the reason why we are all here. To witness agape on the tree to represent to 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 see to 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 experience judgment is going to be defined by your relationship with the cross so life is about the cross and so i say all this to say that if that is the reason then everybody and anybody that contributed to the death of jesus christ should be receiving awards not punishment but there is a law in the bible i want to share with you and draw some application it's called the law of righteousness and the law of righteousness states that the process will be judged different from the product let me say it again the law of righteousness states that the process will be judged different from the product what it means is that it doesn't matter so let me talk about you so you can understand so it doesn't matter what they did against you to get you to get to the right place let me say it like this if a stepmother more treat a stepchild with a lot of discipline and unnecessary work and out of that harshness the girl ends up becoming a good wife the stepmother will still be punished because of the law of righteousness are you hearing me now the law of righteousness says that anybody who has hurt you and through the hurt a good thing came out of it that person will still be punished 
Are you hearing me? So here, Pilate's wife, who is able to tap into where they are keeping records, who is able to tap into the, the place where judgment is being unfolded. So everyone, so Judas got instant judgment. The Bible says that he, he hanged himself instantly. So what I'm saying is that I want you to rest assured when I tell you forgive, when I tell you let go, sometimes you don't want to let go because you say it's not fair. Trust me, the law of righteousness is fair. I got blown away. The Bible says that when that David was the guy that understood the law of righteousness, when you kill David's enemy, and that enemy of David is not supposed to be killed, David will kill you. You understand that? Because even though what you did was for a good product, the law of righteousness states that the process will be judged different from the process. So the death of Jesus under the law of righteousness is killing an innocent person, period. And anybody that kills an innocent person, so the Pilate's wife was saying to Pilate, if you add your voice to this, oh uh, God, people walk into churches and they shoot nine people just like that and they think, oh God, help us. They think the law of righteousness will not speak up. I watch the news and when I say, oh God, I don't want to upset myself. But nobody can escape the law of righteousness. So people that have disappointed you, people that have hurt you, people that have more treated you into your blessings. I'm talking about, so, so obviously you know that people that hurt you for the wrong reason, they will be punished. But people that hurt you for the right reason will be punished. Oh God people that hurt you for the right reason will still be. that's why abortion is very scary because it doesn't matter how helpful the abortion choice was because of the law of righteousness the person that did it will be punished it is a very radical law so what i want you to understand is that all things will work together for your good but anybody who has hurt you the law of righteousness will demand a punishment. So David, a guy will come to David and say, you know, uh, uh, Saul was dying and, and he said, I should kill him. And I did so that he would not die in his misery. And the person, I, by the law of righteousness, the person has to be killed. And so I want you to hear it out. By all means, some of us, the only way we will be blessed is through rejection. The only way we will be blessed is through rejection. You understand? In other words, if you are not pushed away, if you are not treated away, you won't be strong. But the law of righteousness states that it doesn't matter how better you became when you were rejected. Those who rejected you unrighteously will be punished. That is why you should forgive quickly. Are you hearing me? You should forgive quickly. When you look at history and you consider what happened to individuals that... Uh, uh, the Bible says when they declared that should we release Jesus, the whole people of Israel said that, let his blood come on us and our children. Oh my God. And history tells us how the law of righteousness demanded an answer from those people. So I came not to scare you, but to give you a take-home message, which is anybody who has hurt you, that has made you a better person, that person will be punished. So, and, and, and the reason it's important is because this is the place you find it difficult to forgive. The people that hurt you for no reason. The people that intentionally try to kill you intentionally try to break you and now you have become a, a better woman now you have become a better man oh god the law of righteousness people that have that have abused and used you if you don't remember anything remember this the law of righteousness means that if a stepmother more trip a stepchild and through the more treatment the stepchild becomes strong enough to end up being a good wife the stepmother will still be punished do you understand me 
So the law of righteousness states that if Jesus Christ was created to die for humanity and he comes and he begins to go through the passion of Christ, anybody that contributed to his death will be punished. Because the law of righteousness states that the process will be judged different from the product. Child of God, be encouraged. Be encouraged. Always choose to remember that it's not about the end. It's about the means. The end and the means are judged differently. Don't let nobody lie to you. If you cut corners and you get there, the corner will punish you. And if anybody treats you evil, oh God, some of you, you are where you are because of the evil people do to you. I used to share my testimony that uh, the reason I'm able to do a lot of things is primarily because of how I am treated sometimes. In other words, um, if, if I get hold of something and I get pushed away, wherever I am pushed to, I pick up another talent from there. Wherever I'm pushed to, I pick up another talent. But anybody that has pushed me, the law of righteousness will demand. We want to pray for one another on today that God will strengthen us. This is a big message. This is a big message. But I want you to be encouraged that you will not be punished. Um, you will not be punished uh, uh, in terms of uh, 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 for the, person, the punisher to go free. Are you hearing me? It doesn't matter. Some of the punishment is necessary. You won't become a better person in life if you, all you have are friends. Your enemies, those who are jealous of you, those who are envious of you, they are all necessary. Kathleen Kuhlman said, if I listen to my critics and I listen to my fans, I will not do the will of God. So at the end of the day, it is critical that those who will hurt you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you will release us of the burden of asking ourselves, so what will happen to this person? Father, now we know. We ask, oh God, that have mercy on us if we have caused pain to anybody. We pray that, Lord Jesus, you encourage our hearts as we begin to trust in you and we'll be careful to work in your purpose. In Jesus' name, amen.